It's no secret that fear is at an all-time high. The demands for those of us working on the front lines amidst this coronavirus pandemic are astronomical. There is a lot going on in the world, especially when it comes to things that we cannot control. And while I'd recommend that everything be taken from the CDC seriously, social distancing, policies and procedures for where you're working, there are things that you can control. So I'm not coming to you to minimize the severity of the situation, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things that you can do to use this as a time to thrive rather than just get by. The things I'm gonna cover in this are things that I've actually put into practice and implemented as a frontline pharmacist as a hope to share with you whether you're a pharmacy student, a pharmacy technician, a pharmacy intern, or anyone working in the front lines in healthcare today. Nurse, physician, PA, anyone and everyone that is on the lines to help patients through this time, this message is for you. So guys, this is a time to really get innovative and come together because there is a lot at stake. There's a lot going on and stress and dealing with everything that we already have to deal with as a stressful occupation, as a profession that has a lot at, at, on the line right now, it's heightened to unprecedented levels that we haven't seen in decades, all right? So there's a lot demanded of us. And these are the times when you can either come together and get stronger or crumble and just get destroyed. So what I wanna help you with is things that you can do that are simple, they're not expensive, they might even not even cost anything, all right? but will actually allow you to be stronger as a team through this time. There's no way you can get through this alone. It's not possible. There's too much going on. So the value that your team has is indispensable. And by becoming aware of this and putting these three tips that I'm gonna share with you into practice, I think it will allow you to really become closer as a unit. And when you do that, you'll not able be to be able to thrive as an individual and as a team, but you're gonna be able to deliver optimal patient care during a time when they need it the most, all right? So guys, the first thing that I'm gonna share with you is an innovative tip that I came up with last week and put into practice. And it had a really good response. So that's why I wanna want share it with you right now. So when we talk about being on the front lines, our pharmacy technicians are actually on the front front lines, right? Depending on what practice that you're in, in pharmacy, myself, I'm in community pharmacy and I have a phenomenal staff that I really admire and respect. Uh, my pharmacist partner, my, my technicians, they're awesome and I really view them as family. So looking at that, I wanted to come up with a way to recognize the fact that they are going above and beyond and they are at heightened risk because we're at a time where there's a lot of unknowns going on. There's outbreaks and everything else depending on your area. So what I did is I thought they need to be acknowledged. I need to thank them. But I took it one little step further with an entrepreneurial mindset. Instead of thanking them, which you should do every day anyway, I thought, how can I make this more meaningful so that they really f get that feel that I really appreciate them. So what I did, is I wrote a thank you card, handwritten, but I did not send it to them. I sent it to their family. Because guys, families are scared. There's a lot going on. And if you're not in healthcare, all you really get is from the news or what your friends and family tell you, right? So they're, all they know is their loved one is at work and they're in a healthcare environment where sick people are going. So they're at a heightened risk. So I wrote a thank you note to the family, not to my technician, but to the family of my technician, expressing how invaluable their family member is and how them working on the front line is such a sacrifice and a service, not just for our team, but for the patients that we're caring for. And just to let them know that we really appreciate what they're doing, that they're coming to work, giving it 100%, recognizing that it's at a very stressful time but just acknowledging that and letting them know how grateful we are. Guys, this was so well received. I really recommend if you have a staff with, with your practice where you're working, please do this. They deserve it, but when you do this, you're going to not only acknowledge your worker, your, your colleague, your coworker, but also the family, because guys, the whole family's involved in this. It's the truth. So recognizing that and allowing them to know how grateful you are can really set you apart. So that's how to make your staff, the people you work with, that's the first tip. That's how to get gratitude in them so that you can perform closer as a unit. The second tip has to do with your patients. 
dude, a lot of them are scared. You got elderly, you've got immunocompromised, you've got people at risk. Those are the people that really need care and are gonna need pharmacy services a lot more than those people that are younger, healthy, at lower risk, right? So with that, they're gonna be a lot more scared because they're at a higher risk and they know this. So a way to give care and just really give them more than prescription, give them more than counseling and all those essential services that make us as pharmacists, as a profession, invaluable to our patients is to also dispense hope, to be a hope dealer, all right? And what I do is, I, I've talked about this before, but guys, I've been doing this for years and the impact is unmatched. This, this right here can make such an impact for your patients. So when I have patients come or when they call and they're having someone pick up, I ask them one simple question. What's your favorite color, all right? And they ask real confused, they don't know what's going on, but I ask them, what's your favorite color? And whether they say blue, red, or whatever, I just say, okay, and I pull out one of these smiley face stickers and I put it on their prescription bag. And guys, it totally shifts their focus. Right now, they're shifted on medication, sickness. Am I gonna get infected? What's going on in the world? You give them a smiley face sticker with their favorite color, instantly their focus shifts. They literally smile or laugh and start to open up and say, wow, that really made a difference. Such a small thing, but it really makes me focus on the joy that I have within me. Because happiness can be controlled externally, but no one can ever rob you of your joy. And this little sticker that costs literally less than a penny a piece reminds them that they are in control of their joy and that is always there. Such an important message to share and dispense as a provider on the front lines because we have that opportunity to give that message to them along with the services that we provide as a pharmacist. That's the second tip. The third tip is talking about community and a team, but not with your practice. I'm talking global. So guys, you know people that are in healthcare, whether they're pharmacists that work in a different state, a different city, people in your class that you graduated pharmacy school with that you haven't maybe talked to or seen in years, people that you know on social media, anyone you know in healthcare that you know is working on the front lines, or maybe it's outside of healthcare, maybe it's first responders like police or firemen, anyone that's considered uh, essential that's actively working now, reach out to them, ask them how they're doing, just see if you can be support and just let them know that you're thinking about them and you appreciate what they're doing and let them know that they're not alone, that we're all in this together. Guys, it's such a simple reach, but just that message, you never know what someone's going through. Someone might look and act like they've got it all together, but deep down they might be really terrified. They might have a loved one at risk that's going through this time and they're terrified of what might happen to them but they're working the front lines and aren't able to be there with them physically or just talking to them on the phone because they're working as a provider on the front lines. So my third tip is to reach out to someone you know that's working through these times and let them know that they're not alone, that you are there for them and that we are all in this together because guys, that's the truth. We cannot get through this alone. We're all in this together and that's how we're gonna get through it together. I hope this message resonates with you guys. Please let me know which one of the three tips you will put into practice this week. I wanna hear about your successes. I wanna hear your wins so that I can share and support your success. Comment below. If you're on Instagram, send me a DM with you doing the active. Maybe it's a picture of you with thank you cards. Maybe it's a picture of you with smiley stickers. Uh, maybe it's a picture of a, a flashback of you when you were with that friend that you're gonna reach out with. Post that to your Instagram, tag me so that I can share and support your success and keep this message going. Because these are trying times. You look on social media, the news, all you hear is negativity. And while yes, there's facts to that, we need to shift our focus. We need to be informed and not be ignorant to what's going on, but we also need to make sure that we're spreading messages of hope, that we're actually hope dealers, that we're getting that message out that yes, we are all in this together for together, we rise, and that's exactly how we're gonna get through this. Guys, Dr. Adam Martin of the Fit Pharmacist Healthcare Podcast, there's more content on that platform. If you wanna get more messages like this, we dispense a new episode every single week. It's on every single podcast platform. Make sure you subscribe. We're on Spotify, SoundCloud, 
iTunes, iHeartRadio, you name it, we're there to help you get through this troubling time. I hope this message resonates with you and you are allowed and give yourself the permission to use this as a time to thrive and not just get by, for we each need the help of the other and that's exactly why I created this community. Guys, go forth, be great, and dispense your full potential. God bless.